Bryant on permanent vacation or what, Lieutenant? He sends his regards from the hemorrhoid hospital. What's the good news? Fresh out, but I'm following up some leads. Don't push it, kid. You look like you're beat anyway. Why don't you rest them dogs the rest of the day? I still got plenty of energy. That's an order, McCoy. I'm ordering you to relax. Can the department float me some chin yen? This investigation's getting expensive. Look, this ain't on the department tab, okay? This is a personal loan. Thanks, Lieutenant. This goddamn city don't know how to manage funds. They've been flush for years. I thought we were under budget. Trust me, ain't nobody getting rich unless they're sneaking some on the side. Hell, I can barely pay for the fuel for my car. Ever hear of public transportation? Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. The goons over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Anyone else in that whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. I'll give it a try, kid. I'll have to pull some strings, so don't go in there half-assed. Make sure you got some legit questions for the resident genius. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. Lock up. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. November 22nd, 2019. I once again asked that my attorney... Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh, no. Recording off. Describe them for me again. There was that Rastafarian fellow, and one of our ex-members showed up. Who's that? A Japanese man named Izo. Why'd you get rid of him? We're a pacifist organization, and we have rules. One of them is no weapons allowed. Izo refused to check in a samurai sword at the door during meetings. Where can I find this Izo? He owns one of those little secondhand stores downtown. Let me ask you a question. Who the hell bankrolls your operation? Well, we have a number of anonymous donors, people with resources and sources. Such as? So anonymous, even I don't know who they are. I almost believe you. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I didn't know the Rastafarian. The Asian fellow was one of our ex-members. Izo was his name. How long did you know him for? 
Let's see. I met him about five years ago. He seemed so smart and balanced. He really wanted to help the replicant people. Then what? He started associating with the more militant factions. I was astounded when I heard he was supplying weapons to some of them. What kind of weapons? Guns so new that even the police had hardly used them, I heard. I got some more questions for you. Lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer? Yes, sir, we're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the citizens against replicant slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, detective. Sure you are. We're not children, detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped... A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. Beautiful, isn't it? The owl or the view? Both. The view's amazing. The owl, well... Artificial things never did that much for me. It's a flawless replica. We used a real one as a model. Owls are extinct. Who told you the model was real? Dr. Terrell? He's wrong, or lying. Check your Sydneys. Eldon wouldn't make up something like that. You're Tyrell's assistant? Yes, I'm Rachel. Dr. Tyrell is very busy. I'm fully familiar with all Tyrell operations. He does know I'm a cop, right? Blade Runner unit? Dr. Tyrell has already met with one Blade Runner today and has important business to attend to. Your department should coordinate its efforts better. Yeah, but... You may speak to me, or you may leave. I can't offer you any other choices. Fair enough. I wanted to ask about Marcus Eisendeller. I can't tell you who killed him, if that's what you're asking. We've already got a suspect. What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh yeah? Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant. A very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe. More human than human. Isn't Dr. Tyrell pushing to make it legal to use rep labor to clean up the kipple? Are we here to discuss corporate policy or Marcus Eisendeller's murder? A little of both. You heard about the moon bus hijacking. Yeah, I guess you would have. Fifty people dead. You can't blame. I'm surprised you aren't out doing spin control. The public gets nervous when your pets wander around the city without a leash. Replicants aren't pets. Right. Pets live longer and don't go around killing people. They... there are safeguards in the design. Yeah, I've seen the data. Implanted memories of four-year lifespan. I'd probably get a little crazy too, but I don't think I'd start killing people. Wouldn't you? As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood and all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. 
That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. I thought you weren't meeting with any more Blade Runners today. Well, I decided to make an exception. Mr. Uh, McCoy, isn't it? You do understand the need for the Nexus 6 to have an identity. Not really. No. I do see why a replicant who has an identity would want to steal Eisendollar's files. Please, enlighten me. They want more life. They're wasting their time. They're gonna come for you, just like they came for Eisendollar. I have nothing to fear from any of my children. I tell them all exactly what I told you. Have I given you what you came here for? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Then if you'll excuse me, I have a stockholder meeting to attend. Give me a hard copy of that.